good getting internet. Yeah. Uh, where we last left off, we are in the lair of the Mantis. Ooh, the uh, interface looks quite different now. Yes, I have updated all of my mods, and that includes the Star UI UI mod. Oh, the HUD. Yes, the HUD is part of it. Okay. So, for instance, um, you will notice there is now a take all feature sitting here. Mm -hmm. um, in addition, I think I might be able to show you with doors. You will notice that looks a bit different, and it tells you where you're actually activating at. That indicates that it is something that you can interact with as well. Um, there's a few other things that it does as well. But, yeah. So there'll be slight UI differences. Also, apologies for the mix-up on episode order. We only discovered... Right, well, they are actually the ones that discovered it. Um, I finished watching episode 27, and then when I went to 28, it's like, this is not where I left off. And it wasn't. Um, so after this, after we record today, I will be rendering episode 28 for reals. With the Z at the end, of course. Anyway, we should probably talk to this poor sap that's just mm -hmm. been standing there. I guess. Covering. Yep. Wait, wait, don't shoot! I am unarmed! No, you're Look, not. we can help each other. I can be useful. Just don't kill me. I, I'm not sure if a solstice counts as being armed. Yeah, but most spacers have a solstice on them. No, they don't. So, spacers aren't usually the surrendering type. It's because I'm smart. You've killed <laughs> so many! I am nothing! No chance! So we can make a deal? This place was full of traps. Traps everywhere. I removed them. But this, this corridor is just too dangerous. See? It looks normal. One step inside, slam! You are trapped. And nobody's been standing after the doors reopen. How'd you deal with the traps? No, sorry. If I tell you that, then I lose my leverage. They're ingenious. Took a... A lot of lives to tease them out. I need a little bit of leverage. It's true. So many of my crewmates are gone. And this corridor is the worst. But I figured it out. There are letters on the floor. It is a grid. Those letters must spell something. But there are so many words, or small phrases. I mean, that does sound kind of yeah. obvious. What? Well, nobody else here figured that out. There's See? I've been helpful. You... you could let me go. Or better, I can help. I know these traps. I know how this mantis thinks. Please, let me help. And just give me a taste of the cachet inside. You can trust me. In my experience, anytime someone says, trust me, don't. You will notice something else going on. I don't know if you've noticed. We're not zooming in on the camera anymore. Mm -hmm. That is another one of the things that I added in mod-wise. Because it was starting to bother me. Okay. I know from experience, if you say, I don't need you, then he'll attack. So, you really think? Trust is maybe too strong a word. We need each other. So, we use each other. Then, when the arrangement is no good, we decide then? Spoken like a true spacer. You won't regret this. Already am. I will hold back here. And, well, good luck. Yep. Disable the turrets. Which is what I'm going to do. I was going to just point out that there are turrets down there. Four of them. One, two, three, four. Master lock, eh? Let's do the first one as an autocomplete, and then the rest should be easier. Um. What? It's usually two keys per but there isn't one for that oh, okay yeah you're right why'd you i'm just proving that there wasn't there's i mean I, I can already tell 
Mm, you might not be able to. It's fine, I have plenty of lockpicks. Nope, oh, this is a four. None of the fours fit, which means it's going to have to be a three and a one, because we only have threes and ones in this case. And it's this one. Fits here. And it's this this three. Turn you, uh, doing them. the thing? Hell, I got no idea how hackers speak. <sighs> All right. So, fun fact about this chamber. So, you're supposed to be walking through here, specifically on spots that type something out. You don't have to. You can just jump across this entire thing. Yeah. Who's back across? Yep. Now that we've made the torch finder, can we just walk across? I think so. So, you'll notice that it now gives you a value to mass on nice. the thing. Nice. But yeah, we could just walk across at this point. This is the weirdest puzzle in the game in my mind. Also, you'll notice that it gives you the full set of stats now, including damage per second. Whereas it did not before. But yeah. So, your options going through this are basically either you need to pick a master lock... You need to realize the thing, the one phrase that has been repeated over and over again in this place, which admittedly it was a previous video, so you, you all in TV land might not realize it. Or you just boost crap, boost jump across it, or you can actually pick up these bodies and lay them down to figure out which spot will trigger and which one won't. I think that might be why the dead bodies are here. Just doing this. Walking by, seeing where it fires and where it doesn't, and letting go where it doesn't, and walk through. Will it deter it shoot at the body then, and not you? I believe so, yeah. I haven't done it myself. I just remember hearing about how this is the weirdest puzzle in the world, because... Mm. I'll try that next time. I'm... Yeah, there are so many ways through here, but none of them really make sense, other than spelling it out. Still does not fix careful. that stupid thing, though. There will be mm -hmm. traps, robots, probably turrets. Very dangerous. Is that your encumbrance bar or something? I don't actually know. Yeah, yeah, it probably is. That was about right. I think that's all that's in here? Yeah, I think so. Only I can relock it. But yeah, um, the only changes that I've made is that I've updated the mods that I had and added a couple of other UI based mods. There's still. Out of range, for Cutter. Yeah, Cutter range is 12 meters. Why am I not kidding? Normally I crit it once and it's dead. Oh. Anyway. A 
alert. Hostile am opening fire. I already forgot what this character. I am taking damage. Moving. Damage register. Total system failure. I want ten minutes. Nice. Thank damage. you. Damage. I've gotten too used to my other character, which I was playing yesterday. Mm -hmm. I'm just going, how, how do I, how do I, just how do I? To the victor goes the spoils. I said that right, right? Sounds like another robot war. There's two of them here. Yeah. How do I get at the other one? Uh, it might be both. It is. Oh well, I guess I'm not looting the other one. It's fine. I have plenty of loot. I am sorry I could never show this lair to you. The lair is a secret that's been passed down for over a hundred years. And there are rules. You remember when you were a teenager? All the training, the drills, all of it was to prepare you for this. I know you have it in you, Leon. No, no he didn't. You would have known better if you had, you know, actually raised him as a kid. Hit the deck! So, how many uh, med packs do we have? Because you're going through them. Yeah, I am. 35. Okay. Not too bad. Although I should see how assign many, the others as see well. See how many trauma packs you have. Yes. 13 trauma packs and zero emergency kits. has killed so many of us. Uh -huh. <laughs> Thank you. Now the treasure of the mantis will be mine. <laughs> it will be. Wait. Turn off. Sam. Turn off. Yep. So long, Mr. I'm unarmed. Mm-hmm. Idiot. There's the elevator. To the surface? Yep. We have stuff here. Mm -hmm. Magazine or a folder? I don't like the fact that they look the same when you're sneaking. Mm, yeah. I don't remember there being a magazine in here. I don't here. think there is, but it could also be that I missed it. That's why I'm looking. But it's time to get the actual rewards for the Lair of the Mantis. And in my mind, this quest actually feels like something that Bethesda would have thrown in as DLC. Yeah. Because it's entirely self-contained. It gives you a very large reward for the difficulty. And nothing's mentioned until afterward. That is the reward for the Lair of the Mantis. Well, one of three rewards for the Lair of the Mantis. That ship there is now ours. Well, in a moment. Leon, yeah. you've done it. You're here. The Lair now belongs to you. Inside, you will find all you need to be the Mantis, my darling boy. I haven't... I haven't... final days. I wish. Be a 
better Mantis. Be a better person than I was. Yeah, there's a lot of robots here. You can... You don't actually have to fight them. Yeah. But they will constantly tell you that you're not allowed to be here, and... They will attack you. <laughs> Presumably attack once... They definitely attacked my other character here. Yeah, I managed to not have them attack me simply by not staying near them for long at a time. Uh, some of them attacked me on sight, some of them did not. Hmm. Maybe they don't, just don't like your face. Could be. So yeah, at this point it says that I have a little less than 50% of whatever that slider is. Mm -hmm. And I have a little less than 50% carrying capacity left. Though I'm pretty sure it is carrying capacity. Security computer. There's a security log. There's a bunch of corrupt entries just like every other security log in this game. Then there's explosions detected, emergency wipe started running, defense contingency scorch earth initiated, mainframe started failing at 97%, and then security went offline. So there's a couple of things that are still here. But that's it. Yeah, it looks like no magazine in the lure of Mantis. Okay. Just searching for Mantis in the list of magazines. Gotcha. Like... I don't want to read that list because it definitely has spoilers in it. Absolutely does. So I usually just do find in page to verify if there is a magazine in the location or not. Okay. So in theory, I'm not going to be shot at by doing this. In practice, I'm totally getting shot at. You have to press the button anyway. I know. But I wanted to walk over here and take a look at my ship. This should be killing me. Or at least, you know, making you very toasty. Yes. One of the few times- I'm- okay, you know what, I need to check. It ah. is mostly rendered, actually. All of the parts that are facing yes. outside are rendered. They obviously cheated on a couple of things, along with parts that are like, the docking clamp is rendered. Anyway. Alright. Um. If you tell Sam to wait there up on the platform... Well, let's find out. It's safe before... I was yeah, the way you to... handle things... Not bad. Not bad. If you're sure you don't need backup. I'm sure we can manage to push a button on our own. Yes and pick up a couple of items. See what I mean? Mm -hmm. Activated Starlock Control! Remember, Type S doesn't have a voice modulator, so... And I'm already being shot at by everybody. So, so it's not going to warn you. I'm aware. Like taking chems. I've mentioned this multiple times. There's food that does that. Of course, we'd actually have food on me. Yeah, everybody's hostile at this point. Even though there is a computer that will turn them not hostile, but it's not here. Anyway, this is our other objective. Mannequin with. Ooh, incendiary mantis head spacesuit. I didn't realize the that was something that would randomized. Yeah. 
isn't it? Mirrored Mantis Pack. For me, it's the helmet that's mirrored, I think. Mm -hmm. And a reactive Mantis Space Helmet. Yeah, my helmet is galvanized instead of lead-lined. Mm -hmm. Um, I think for me, the Mantis space suit, I have, what you call it, um, a reduction in weight, or an increase in how much carrying capacity I have. Mechanized Mantis suit? It's not mechanized, it's the middle tier one. So mechanized is plus 40 carrying capacity, there's a plus 20 as well. No, that's on the boost pack. That's on the boost pack? Maybe my boost pack has that. Yeah, fastened. Boot yeah, boot I think pack. I must have a fastened boost pack then. Anyway, we're equipping all of this because this is way better gear than anything that we have right now. You will notice the DR difference. DR, for reference, is a combination of each of the resistances of physical energy and EM. So, really, the only advantage in this is the fact that this is mechanized. Which, admittedly, means that I'm now overweight. But the advantages in that are so good. Well, I'm down to a basic boost pack again, which I think I prefer over the power pack, to be honest. I am going to miss the sensor chip, though. And this outfit looks so dorky. I like the suit. I don't like the helmet. Like, the suit looks pretty cool. The pack looks pretty cool. The helmet looks dumb. Oh wait, no, this is the wrong weapon. Anyway, there's other stuff in here before I go back outside. Space Trucker Bar Duds. Lots of loot over here. be two ones. Yeah. Meh. Space Adept Advanced Maelstrom. Garbage. And an original Achilles City Charter. Okay, more quest items locking up my inventory. Well, at least I figure out where to yes. get rid of those. You have, I have not. circuit board. That kind of is an intrusive thought. We didn't start a timer. Hmm. How long have we been recording for? Um, 23 minutes. So, set it for 35. Yeah. Thank you. Gotta have a Tracker's Alliance spacesuit just coming right out of the shower, after all. A very luxurious shower. Weird shower head, though. And also, why is your handle facing out? But whatever. Will they paper tubes? I'm sneaking because I know that there's bots immediately on the other side that hate me. This is the one that I can use. To... No, it isn't. Please log off this computer. Process Scorched Earth has detected three unclosed documents. Warning, you have one hour to comply before admin override. So these are the messages from the previous Mantis. Uh, I'm not going to bother reading them out loud, but just keeping them on the screen for a bit. So all of these are Doreen slash the previous Mantis's 
stuff. Although you earned it as the previous previous mantis. So Dory had cancer, if I remember correctly. It was mentioned somewhere, wasn't it? Well, in any case, she was dying. Yeah. She was dying, she had a year to live. Yep, you know, that half-eaten sandwich is still good after all these years, don't ask. I'll have some beer as a treat. suit up there. Refined space trucker space suit. And a tank. Hmm. To the best of my knowledge, this is the only place in the game that you see one of uh, this specific model. But that could just be me not paying attention. The game has no vehicles that you can drive. Even though there should be. So easily on this character. You could pop into your old spacesuit for a bit. Yeah, I probably should. Uh, no, that's still overburdened. Mm. Stupid spacesuit's weighing so dang much. I'll just pop over outside. Now, where does the quest marker for where you left Sam say is? Oh, good question. Oh, well, no, because the. Right, it's mission activities, retrieve rating followers. That way. Inside of Inside. Yeah, so we shouldn't have done that. Nope. Does that mean I have to reload? Just toggle clipping and go in there. Yeah. Huh, I still use oxygen while I'm clipping toggled. Neat. And I'm still hidden as well somehow, don't ask. Stop sneaking and you'll move a little faster. You, you need to leave. This That's area the problem. That's why I was. But also, if I stop sneaking, I use oxygen faster. Yep. Ten, good job, Tim. What are you doing? It's good to be on the boat. Let's do it. I'm intentionally clipping up above so I don't trigger those goobers. And I keep doing that. Now, why is there no way to open up your journal that's the same key as opening up your journal when you're in the map? It's not like it's using the letter for anything. Like, here it's L. But here it's... G no, it's not no, even it's L. L. Why did I think it was Jack? I don't know. Maybe I'm just really sleepy. I only woke up maybe 30 minutes ago. And it went up a little too high this time. Here's the elevator. Now we have the computer to open the door, and we're back at the entrance again. It was this way, wasn't it? Yeah. Ooh, 
Hey Sam. I hope Cora doesn't get too much underfoot. If you need me to haul something, I'm willing. Please be useful and carry some of my 50 bajillion space. Oh, you're already mostly full. Mm -hmm. Well, take what you can. You have four pounds left. That is more than four Sounds pounds. Sounds like resources or. Yeah. Now you're full. Now I can wear the other spacesuit and be able to move. Yep. So just fast travel to your ship? Oh yeah, I can fast travel at this point. So what I want to know... Oh, wait, no, this I'm supposed I'm to... Oh yeah, take the racer later. Yes. Sorry. It's like, wait a second, no, there was a reason why I didn't fast travel. Although I could have dropped things off. Oh, well. I'll drop things off at the Razor Leaf. So this is our new ship. We level up as a result. 200 XP. That's a lot of XP. So my other character used the Razor Leaf for a long time, and I'm actually going to rebuild using Blazer, uh, Razor Leaf because there's some advantages to using this ship that you kind of don't get with any other ship. Downsides. The front is not awful, but not greatest. You can always just replace the cockpit. Yep. You can chip a Theseus this quite a bit. But, I mean, you have okay visibility, but not the greatest. Let's drop things off. Oh, right. It doesn't have anything in cargo hold right now. Make home ship. Oh yeah, sorry. Comparing. So this ship has a plus two on its secondary weapon, plus one on its tertiary weapon, but shields are one tick lower. The reactor's two ticks lower. But I can't actually tell if it's better or worse. Uh, the Razor Leaf does have shielded capacity. So we can start hiding things. But its shields are worse than Wonder Wall. Its jump distance is much lower. Its reactor is worse, and its weapons are worse. Pretty much worse than Wonder Wall. Wonder Wall. And the frontier is worse than both. It's just if you give it a better reactor, and yeah, then you can. I have something for you. That's creepy, Barrett. Also, I kind of think that the Razor Leaf almost looks like an X-Wing. Orbital pattern locked in. We leveled, though. So we should look to see what we're going to throw in. So, I did... Not give us targeting. Oh, that's my other character. Mm -hmm. I was thinking about grabbing targeting control systems just because it would be nice to actually be able to have one of the major features of space combat. Yeah. Which they don't tell you about. Yeah, my new character I started while we were we were on the vacation took bounty hunters backgrounds. So it's so starting with mm -hmm. that. Ooh, we don't have a single perk in Starship design. Yeah, I know. Maybe. You should, uh... I would bold. probably take Starship to sign. Yeah. Because this is something that I want to build up, whereas the other one, I just need one point in. Don't actually care about the rest. Because the first point allows you to target various modules on your enemy's ship. So you can, in fact, knock out their weapon systems. The rest of these improve it, but I really don't understand why they phrase it as missile weapon systems. This has nothing to do with missiles. Mm-hmm. 
Well, it reduces how long it takes to lock on, which is very I useful suppose, for missiles, but... But it's like, I, there's other things that... I barely even use missiles. Right. Ship. What ship's there? Quick save before you go there. Yeah. You can't quick save in here. Of course not. Because you haven't fought in the Razor Leaf, and it might be difficult. Yes. I mean, I have fought in the Razor Leaf, but not on this character. An upgraded Razor Leaf. I fought heavily with an unupgraded Razor Leaf. Okay. Ooh, it. It's Camulus! Oh, I think I need to not be here. Uh, yeah. I believe this falls under the be somewhere else category. Yep. So, I um, recently tried taking on that uh, I took out all the escorts, but I couldn't even... I couldn't get through the shields of the main ship. So, this is the main problem with using the Razor Leaf. My jump distance is so low, I need to jump through systems I've never jumped through before. So I think it might be time to go visit that one. Mm. For the first time. So let's jump to Porima, which is a level 30 system. For the first time? Yep. Which will start a quest. Well, I mean, I don't really have a choice. Greetings, pilot. This is Jiro Sugiyama, head of Paradiso Security. I apologize for coming over this emergency channel, but we are in need of assistance concerning the large ship in orbit, and we value discretion in this matter. If you are willing and able, please see me as soon as possible at the main security office in Paradiso. Over now. I will be doing that quest, but not right now. There is a um, ship services technician here. Oh, there is? Yeah. Ooh, maybe it, I should go, do, yeah, go to Paradiso. So yeah. Land here and uh, see what you can do with the yeah, ship. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. It's just, I never figured it out because they're wearing the Paradiso uniform. Captain I've actually never been to Paradiso. Initiated. Really? Yep. I stopped doing that quest because I didn't want to. On my other character. Well, this looks like Florida. This might be a good chunk of the reason why I didn't want to do the quest. <laughs> I think I set up an outpost on a planet like this once. Sam set up outposts? Hey, he commented to me when I set up an outpost that he usually just do, does fuel depots. Uh, and security. Hello, and welcome back. Mr. Tofik, I am aware that this is your eighth visit to our resort. Your repeat patronage is much appreciated. Is there any assistance I may offer you today? Actually, a question. Usually, when I come here, the shuttle takes a certain in. route, showing me the beauty of this world. But this time, our entry seemed to take a uh, long end, and we passed by a lot more open water. Was there something wrong with our normal flight path? I heard the rumors of a ship in orbit. Please allow me to apologize for this inconvenience. This alternate entry was required due to a meteor shower affecting the usual descent route. Nothing to worry about. Yep. To make up for this, allow me to credit your account with a 15% discount on spa amenities. Once again, we are dreadfully sorry. It's okay, Vietor. I know you're programmed to be overly concerned with your service. I just wanted to know why. But thank you for crediting my account anyway. Oh, might as well sell things while I'm here. Oh, um, I had mentioned something, I think it was in a previous video, mentioning about how um, it looked like you can sell to trade authority ships in orbit for contraband. I have confirmed that on my other character. You can? Yes. However, okay. they hardly ever have enough money. Mm. I do not need regular coffee mugs. That might be for the, uh, that might be a quest mm -hmm. It's something we picked up on the era. The regular coffee mugs? 
No, the micro cell shielding. Oh. I'm honestly shocked it let me sell it if it's a quest item. Yeah, it's probably not actually required then. But it might be for something. Anyway, weapons. Sort by DPS. Uh, yeah, it looks like the advanced maelstrom is in fact better than the rest of the garbage that I have. I know that's a unique item, but I kind of want to sell it anyway. And I need to grab the things off of... Uh, Sam. Is there a reason to keep this? No. I mean, combat veteran's not bad, but there's no reason to keep that. That, that is unique. Yes, I am aware. Sell that. Although I have never had it triggered its power. I tried building like six or seven mods and it just never did. Okay, um, I kind of wish I can just hit sell all, but I can't. Yeah, you can. T, sell all category. Yes, uh, yeah. but there's stuff in here that I want. Although maybe it's better to sell all and, and then buy, buy back stuff I might want. Which is coffee mug collection. Bite. Exotic wood. Sun sculpture. Tick. Will be. Tabasaur. Succulent, 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 succulent. I think that's it. And Parsec Pooch. Did I miss Parsec Pooch? It's in other. Oh, right. There must be something that it's used for, then. I don't know why. It's not considered junk, but the other ones are. Yeah. It's anyway. not fair. Yeah. Call from Razor Leaf. Weapons. And out of money. Anyway, speaking of money... You shouldn't... Need some work done? Okay, no problem. All right, first thing is first. Can we just upgrade the reactor in place. No. No. Do they have a better reactor? Reactors. Sort by power. You can get 20. I can get 20. This has 18, I think. Mm -hmm. So slightly better, but I can't get better than 20 right now, right? Isn't 20 the highest the class A goes? 28, but you need to have um, yeah, without any without yeah. ship design to get it. So it's probably still worth upgrading, to be honest. Mm -hmm. This is the part I do not like about this ship designer. It's like, how do you snap up there? You... Or to elevate. And yes, I know I have two reactors right now. Just need to find where the other one is. I think that's grav drive. That's cowling. It'd be nice if, you know, this UI wasn't awful. And this is the up, like, the modded version. The regular version is so much worse. You have to remember where it's at on the ship? Nope. Uh, hmm. On the bottom? No. I mean, I know it's somewhere on the back. The reactor is not on the front on the ship. That's the shield generator. Oh, there's a reactor. the other direction from R? F. You know, it says all the way on the right. It does? Oh, there. R, F. 
my brain just ignores that. But if you have the shield generator there, you can't put the reactor in there. I'm aware. I'm just moving it out of the way. I'm planning on actually putting the shield generator up here. Okay. Got that. So we at least have a better reactor. Where's the docker on this ship? The docker is down below. Isn't it? Yeah. Oh. Glim docker. Nice. Mm -hmm. Um, okay. Well, flight track is fine. I know we've increased mass, but that's fine. We are going back to upgrade ship, and let's see what else that we have to upgrade. We are obviously not downgrading our reactor. Uh, grab, grab drive. drive. That needs an upgrade. Yeah. Might as well go with the okay. highest tier. If you... That's 23 grav drive thrust. If yeah. you try... I'll... Trying to create instead. Mm -hmm. It might be there's a better drive that just doesn't fit in the same slot. Grav drive. Nope. nope. It's two different 23s. This is the more expensive 23, but I don't have to reconfigure the entire ship. I think that's worth it. Mm -hmm. And it is slightly better still. Yeah. Why do you keep going with the reactor? Upgrade the grav drive. Engine. I really wish that the upgrade menu wasn't in the exact same, sp or in different spots than adding, so I don't have to go back and forth constantly. So, let's see. Um, I'm going to just note these things. Yeah, there's definitely better than the White Dwarf 1020. I can go all the way up to the White Dwarf 3000. That probably makes sense to do. White Dwarf 3000... And my engines are here and here. There's more idea. So I'm going to move the helium tanks, patch it like that. underneath? No. Okay. Yeah, there's no mount point there. In fact, it do not appear to have any mount points that would fit that at all. Then get a different tank. Just not. Is your error that you don't have any fuel tank? Yeah. Yeah, okay, that was the only fuel tank then. That's fine. Um, you can probably attach... Fuel tank. So that was a 300G that was there before. The 450 is the same mass, but better fuel to mass ratio. Mm -hmm. So it has slightly more fuel. So we'll go with this and then find a spot to attach it. Don't want to attach it down below. That is the only valid mount point on this entire ship. So, you're getting lopsided. Congratulations. Cargo. But personally, I tend to like the Stormax cargo things.
Z to flip. Thank you. Not entirely symmetrical, but it's at least close at that point. Close enough. Yep. Okay. Um. You should paint the new engine. I should also look at shields. What do you currently have? You have an S31 Bastille. What do I have options for here? G30, although that's a lot of power. Uh, 340 for 3 power? We're at 4 power. So we've got 375 and 355. This is 390. So this is already better than what I can get for the same amount of power. Mm -hmm. so I'm not going to change that. Uh, cockpits. Do you remember which is the really nice open one? No. Because I don't remember either. Might not even be available at this place. Oh, I'm not going to worry about the cockpit. Um, I know there's painting. We have more engines, but those are better engines than I can buy right now. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they require Starship Design Rank 3. So, I know that they're better engines than I can buy. Okay, paint. Click on a piece that has the paint job you want. Oh, on the job I want. Okay. And then color. And then copy set. Oh! And... Then... Color. Color. Paste set. Nice! And hit enter. I did not know about that. That that's Star UI. It's not that. Uh, in, in that stock. would make more sense because this felt too nice for Bethesda. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, well, it's matching now at least. Uh, we should look at weapons. The final thing. Yeah. So currently, it has a missile launcher. A pulse la uh, two pulse lasers and particle beam. two particle beam. I like to go all particle beam. And baby missiles. What do you even have in Paradiso for weapons? Okay. Um Class A only. Show me in DPS specs. That's per point of power. So the auto projector is definitely the highest in terms of hull damage and shield damage. This is the one that I would need rank 4 starship design. So I definitely can't put on a PBO 40. PBO 30 is... that's particle beam, right? 2020 for three power auto projector that's also particle auto beam. particle beam yeah so i don't see a reason why i shouldn't just use the auto projector this it's is a... It's a turret is it yep anything that says auto is a turret but those are also turrets then yep okay well i don't necessarily mind that Because that's the only non-turret particle beam they seem to have. Right? Yeah. And that's what I currently am using, isn't it? No, that's right. Oh, it's an auto. So I currently am using turrets. I didn't think I was. I could have swore I was controlling that weapon. Anyway, you go away, you go away, you go away, you go away, you go away. Let's make our own oh, ah. weapons. I say only.
and there was a copy and paste, wasn't there? Yeah, there was a duplicate option, but I never remember where it is. Yeah, I'll just... Sign the weapon. I know if you're missing stuff. Mm. We'll do that in you. I want at least one weapon that I'm controlling myself. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking maybe control a suppressor myself, but and then let everything else be on a projector. I want that. Put that over here. Nope, not that. I'm not good at making these, by the way. You, oh, they're you doing all. Yeah. That's fine. You, you would have to have a different weapon. Yeah. Do, 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 do. I want... We'll go with one cannon and one pulse laser. No missiles? No missiles. Not a second cockpit. <laughs> <laughs> Why is weapon not coming up there? I'll add the weapon and then... Oh, you need a uh, equipment plate for the weapon there. Oh, that's structural, right? Yep. in weapon mount? No, that's the side mount. Where are you trying to add? Up. Yeah. Do they... They can't not have equipment plates. Uh, I think they can. Well, if you're just adding loose... Weapons... No, it's under structural. Oh, you mean just... The equipment plate. Well, that's the only one that I saw. When I was scrolling through. Okay, so they don't have equipment plate. Oh, there's a Nova weapon mount. Hmm. Oh, is that the... Uh... That one, yeah. Not that this goes anywhere on my ship. Yeah, it needs to attach to a front piece, so no. Two mount and bracer. Nope. That's it. Well, um and we're at an hour. We're just going to stop with this anyway. I'm going to throw on pulse laser. Where did it put it? There. Way under the ship. Good job. Oh, you can mount it on the bottom there. Yeah. That seems like a reasonable spot to mount it. Am I going to have an error because uh, it's just unassigned weapon? Okay. So maybe like that. Yeah, looks good. My hull is significantly lower. My laser weapon damage is garbage, but that's normal for laser weapons. And it didn't cost that much. And I have now designed, installed five unique ship modules. Out of curiosity, what I'm do you sure you can find something. I'm not going to buy any of them, but you can't afford it. No. 
Not that I've spent almost all of my money on the ship. Sun sail. Hammerhead. Parasaur. Thresher 2. Galileo. And an Abyss Trekker. Okay. Just curious. Alright. So with that... Wow. It, it's actually in the ground. It's touching the ground. It is not just touching the ground. Yeah. It is in the ground. Good job, Bethesda. I thought I'm not supposed to have anything that low. Oh, right. I have basic boost pack now. The gravity here is a bit high. Yeah, I've noticed. Okay, um, we're going to go ahead and stop once I go back inside. Hope you've enjoyed this internet, and I'll talk to you next time. Bye! Oh, I finished the pre-flight checklist. That's my girl.